Hey guys, my name is Joey Kidney. Hello, my name is Kevin, and I am from Russia. It's gonna be a long video. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Joey Kidney, and I'm here with my friend Christian Lee. And we've actually never made a video before, so we're gonna give this a shot. Yeah. So Christian and I actually go way back when we started on Gift Boom. I started when I was like 11 on this <laughs> on this app called Gift Boom. Okay. Gift Boom, yeah. But no, it's Gift Boom because I started there. He started there. It was really, really hot, cool at the time, but it is like now looking at it, it's like stupid. Then I stopped, and then like eventually, you know, I turned 12 and I realized, man, this is not for me. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so I stopped doing Gift Boom. Two and a half years later, I started doing mine. I mean, that's really it. I just did it because I wanted to make people happy and laugh. And so that's what we're going with. This whole thing. This whole thing. It's working out. So with being on the internet from like age 11 to what you are, how old are you now? I'm 15. 15, okay. What is the hardest part about social for you? Twitter is hard because there's a lot. Twitter is really negative. Instagram is not hard for me because I don't like really, I just post what I think you is cool. Post what you want. Vine, I post what I think is funny. I don't really care. Just the... The hard part about that is like coming up with content constantly. So have you ever not posted a vine or a tweet because of what people say on social? Yeah, I guess. I mean, there have been a few vines that I've like taken down because people are like, Ugh. you know, like, this is blood. I didn't blah, know you blah. can comment that, but yeah, I Yeah, no, it's the burp, burp uh, emoji. <laughs> Ew, it sounds like hot dogs, dude. <laughs> Have you ever not posted a video or and or a picture? Oh, definitely. I posted videos and then like within like six minutes, six it'll minutes blow up. Exactly. Exactly. I counted, and then it'll just, it'll blow up. It'll get like six hundred likes, and I'll be like, whoa, that's amazing. And then I just read the comments, and they're all not very nice. Yeah. And then I'll just I took it down. <laughs> so for the people out there who want to know how to get over it, what would you say is the best way to deal with the negativity or the people who are so passionate that they say whatever they want to you about your vines or videos, whatever? I don't know. I'd say don't care what other people think or say. If you like it, be yourself and do that. Because I feel like the people who say negative stuff, like they're not happy with themselves. So like the way that they find happiness is through like putting other putting people down. down. Yeah, and like I yeah. feel like I mean like if like that's how you're happy, like more power to you. But like I don't know. Like just don't don't acknowledge it. Cool. Learning. Call me flowers a vegetable, Mike. <laughs> So with all the people out there who just want to express your opinion to you through your vine on the comments and everything like that, why do you still do it? Like what keeps you going? Because I still like want to make people happy. Just because I can't make one person happy doesn't mean I'm not making other people happy. I make my mom laugh. Dude, if you honestly, make your mom happy, that's uh, all you yeah, need in life. Seriously, no, like I make my mom laugh and so like if like I'm making her laugh and I'm doing my job. <laughs> Okay, so I have some recent negative tweets that you've gotten of course right here. Tweet. Yeah. I'm gonna read them off to you. I'm gonna see your response on them and okay. how you deal with them. If I cry, can we cut it? Yes. Okay, thank God. Okay, the first tweet. Yeah. Can't stand you. You are so problematic and ugly. Actually, it doesn't say the and ugly. I kind of put that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you. You are so problematic and stupid. Okay, the next one better be easier on me. Stop begging for attention and fishing for compliments. So I mean, I think everyone does the uh, fishing for compliments uh, like subconsciously because I mean, everyone likes to get compliments, but I don't think I've ever really just said, hey, tell me I'm beautiful or tell me this or like tell me I have a nice butt or something like that. I think I just tweet happy things to make other people happy. And I guess that's what people come off as fishing for compliments because I'm like, Hey, give me attention, but really I'm just, hey, you look good. So now I got some for you, and the first one is something I know you, it's, yeah. Dude, you're like five. Okay, honestly, like, <laughs> I might be like five. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you're five, you're probably the most mature five-year-old ever. No, had. okay, so yeah, I am young, but like, I'm still doing stuff. Why do you have to pick on me for being young? I actually don't care at all. So. <laughs> so the next one is apparently from someone uh, where you didn't notice. Them. Stop being a dick and notice your selfies. I'm not it's like trying to be mean. If I don't see your stuff, I don't see your stuff. I apologize. I just farted. So I assume this is probably just from like a regular tweet. And then somebody just comments back with, I hope you know what you did. Does that get to you at all? Like those little like- Yes! Oh my gosh, like little stabs that are like, yeah. you suck. I guess sometimes like I understand like they're like kidding or whatever. Like sometimes like there's a lot of it. It freaks you out. You're like, oh my god, yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah, it does get to me sometimes, but like I'm, I'm chilling, man. Yeah. Living life. Living life like an optimist. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and uh, stay you stay beautiful and well we'll see you over there but also next week. Bye.
Bye. That was, that was a beautiful ending. Thank you. You gonna go poop now? No.